On World Menopause Day, Lisa spoke to Lorraine this morning to discuss her traumatic experience. Unaware that she was even going through perimenopause, Lisa revealed that she was suffering from anxiety, depression and low moods. Even after consulting a medical professional, who didn't manage to recognize that it was the perimenopause, Lisa was prescribed antidepressants, but symptoms didn't stop. Talking to the Scottish presenter Lisa said, it was painful and irregular periods. It was a juggling act and it was difficult to know what was going on. I was suffering from such debilitating cycles I almost couldn't leave the house. Symptoms were so bad for Lisa she almost had to pull out of appearing on ITV reality show I'm a celebrity get me out of here. She continued to say, it was such a shame I was really excited about it. Due to my painful cycles I thought what am I going to do? I can't go in the jungle. High cholesterol, 5 signs in your legs you must address The star who entered the jungle in 2016 was put on the pill by doctors which completely stopped her periods. However, as Lisa already had endometriosis, a condition that causes painful period pain and lower tummy or back pain, she didn't have the experience in the jungle that she had hoped for. Speaking about this Lisa said, I didn't have the experience I wanted, I had brain fog and still felt lonely, classic signs and symptoms. The NHS explains that women usually go through menopause at the ages of 45 to 55 as their estrogen levels start to decline. COVID breakthrough as wonder statins cut risk of death. Insight Hypertension Diet, the two-piece snack that can lower blood pressure and high cholesterol, tips cancer, the tiring problem warning you may have the disease, latest, perimenopause refers to the time during which your body makes the natural transition to menopause and marks the end of reproductive years. This transitional period will also usually occur sometime in the woman's 40s, but some notice changes as early as their mid-30s. The Mayo Clinic explains some subtle and not so subtle symptoms that women may experience during this time irregular periods hot flushes sleep problem mood changes bladder problems loss of bone changes in sexual function changing cholesterol levels. If you or someone you know is experiencing these symptoms it is recommended to go and seek medical advice, even though the menopause is still widely stigmatized. As her symptoms continued Lisa she sought the advice of a gynecologist who advised going on hormone replacement therapy, HRT. Talking about this she said it revolentized her experience, I am on HRT. I have been on it for 4 years. I wouldn't be without it, it has changed everything. I'm not screaming at my partner not raging, I recognize myself again. HRT helps to relieve most menopausal symptoms including hot flushes, brain fog, joint pains, mood swings and vaginal dryness. It can also help prevent thinning of the bones, which can lead to fractures, osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is more common after menopause. Although the NHS states that there is a slight increase in the risk of breast cancer and blood clots in women who take HRT, experts firmly believe that the benefits outweigh the risks. There are many different types of HRT with most women taking a combination of the hormones estrogen and progestogen. These can be taken through tablets, skin patches, gels, vaginal creams, pessaries or rings. Although there is no limit on how long you can take HRT, GPs sometimes recommend how long to take the treatment for. Most women stop taking it once their menopausal symptoms pass. Women who take HRT for more than a year have a higher risk of breast cancer.